Most people are not living their dreams because of fear, ladies and gentlemen. Fear is the most subtle and destructive of all human diseases. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can age you. Fear, ladies and gentlemen, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. And I ask you a question, what is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself, of not stepping out on life and taking life on? What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? You got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? You cannot let your fear hold you back from your destiny. You have to feel the fear and do it anyway. Do it broke. Do it scared. Do it nervous. Do it trembling. Do it on your knees. Do it with help. Do it on punches. Do it in a wheelchair. Because you don't want to end up in a nursing home sitting on a bed and wonder what would have happened if you'd only had more courage. You don't want to end up in an old folks home and the dying thought is I wish I had a. You don't have as many opportunities in life to take that gamble and allow life to play you. You must play life. You've got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go. Well, I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will you have some opposition? Yes. Will I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Will I get hurt? Yes. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. How do you stand the race less when you lost your money, lost your car, had no place to stay, sleeping in people's houses, on the floor, on their couch? How do you handle the time when your borrowed money couldn't pay it back? You felt humiliated when people you love who didn't believe in you told you you ain't nothing. How do you keep on coming back again and again when you've lost your business or lost your job or lost your home and you've been completely devastated? How do you come back? Oh, let me tell you something. It's possible. The greatest achievement in somebody comes right after their worst defeat. I mean, hit rock bottom, hit the bottom of the barrel, they had nothing left. Everyone was giving up on them, but they broke on their back. They're just now left with the intestinal fortitude, the pride within. Do I want to stay on the bottom of this barrel or do I climb the fuck out of this hole? It's at that point where everything's lost, that everything can be gained. You've got to remind yourself, I know I got what it takes to do this. And it's necessary that you go at it with everything in you, pulling deep down within, challenging yourself. Once you've had that belief, that's so strong, that overrides the crowds in this belief, the adversity is ending, you welcome that shit. Because that right there is supposed to keep happen. Because without that kind of abuse on you, you will not become the battle-tested, proven champion that holds the title at the value of the title. You must go through those ends. Hit rock bottom. Your worst hour of despair becomes your best as you get back up. You learn from that. Yeah,